hardware review time. Yo, what well, go on internet? Kai Linux there. So here's a hardware review of the Lenovo ThinkPad X230 laptop. I got it on Craigslist along with some uh, System76 stickers that I got from a Twitter contest that System76 was holding. And I decked out the ThinkPad a bit. It's a great laptop. The thing's super fast with the i5 processor that's inside of it. It came with Windows 10, even though there's a Windows 7 sticker there, but I wiped that completely clean and slapped on a fresh copy of Ubuntu Mate 16.04. The laptop is really solid. Uh, I don't necessarily mean physically feeling, it's very plastic feeling, but it feels solid in the sense that it's well structured. If you dropped it, I don't think any damage would be done to it, and I love how flexible it is. The keyboard could be a bit better. It's, you know, a membrane keyboard. I heard that the uh, previous version to the X230, I think it was the 220, had the last good keyboard that Lenovo's ever made, apparently. But yeah, the keypad on this laptop, it's alright. Regular membrane keyboard. Um, it's the chiclet kind of feeling keypad. That's a quote from one of my heroes, Marcus Garvey. Great man, you should check out his work. Uh, but yeah, man, there's a lot of good here. The screen is very bright the guy who sold it added on an ips display took off the default display that came with the thinkpad originally and put this one on it for hd and better brightness and a lot more clarity it looks very good just need to get rid of those little updates there i'll do that later and you see this little light here well since there's no backlit keyboard there is an old school like reading lamp that's attached to the top of the screen i thought that that was really cool it's, very geeky of me but i think it's awesome i love that it works really great at night too surprisingly so we're gonna do a quick little browser test firefox always takes a little extra second or two to start up on most of the computers i use but let's see how youtube runs and how things sound and display on the screen the speakers could be a bit better uh, i'll let you guys take a listen in a second but speakers could be better. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. I think if you had it, you'd know. But check this out. They're not horrible, but still, if you're listening to music with... I wouldn't recommend listening to music with this laptop unless you had some good headphones. I wouldn't use it throughout the speakers. There's absolutely no real bass and things aren't leveled correctly. It sounds pretty bad. Especially when you raise the volume up, it just starts to sound weird. But I love the price, and the battery life is great as well. I get like 6 hours from just regular browsing on the web and doing miscellaneous tasks on the desktop itself. I was very surprised because this is an older laptop, you know, it's what, probably 5 or 6 years old, uh, and it doesn't have a dead battery. I don't know if the guy replaced the battery, he didn't tell me or not, but yeah, 6 hours of just browsing the web, doing miscellaneous desktop related tasks not online um but if you're watching videos and stuff that'll be dropped down like maybe two and a half three hours or so so let's do some steam tests and see how games work on here um i didn't have a version of steam ready because i don't really use this laptop for gaming i use it for web development but i decided to install steam and put freedom planet on here and i'm going to be testing my dual shock 4 controller on here to see how well this thing works with additional peripherals. Spoiler alert, it works great, but we're gonna be testing our Freedom Planet and see how it runs on here. I did do some screen captures, but the frame rate is poor on that thing. I use simple screen recorder and the frame rate is just abysmal. I'll show you a short clip in a moment of what that looks like, but it's not gonna run very long because it's just it just looks bad. The recording with the camera I'm using or with the phone I'm using looks way better you get the full 60 frames per second as opposed to simple screen recorder recording in like 30 and it being very choppy just adjusting the brightness there to make things look a little bit better and sorry about not getting the laptop centered into the camera but 
Uh, I couldn't tell through the visor. I thought I had everything centered and looking pretty good, but <laughs> no worries. The game is still on display. As you can tell, the DualShock 4 works right out of the box and works great. I didn't install any additional drivers or anything for it because Ubuntu 16.04, as far as I know, and Steam, uh, Steam OS, they support the DualShock 4 by default. If you have the latest version of Steam installed, the game should just run um, working with the DualShock 4. Except Unity games sometimes, they act a little funky. But yeah, look how smooth the game is on the laptop. It's it's pretty fun. I think I'm going to probably be carrying my DualShock 4 around with me a little more frequently whenever I'm traveling and I have my laptop with me, like on the plane or something. Play some Freedom Planet on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty awesome. I wouldn't do it on a bus though. Nah, it might not be a good look. But yeah, the X230, very fast. 8 gigs of RAM, i5 processor, plays games, works with my DualShock 4. I use this strictly for web development. This is what this laptop's purpose was to serve. I replaced the Dell Latitude. What was it the X630 that I had, I believe? That's the old video where I installed Bunsen Labs on that machine. I sold that machine a while back on Craigslist because it just wasn't working out. The battery life was really, really, really bad and I needed something better, but I'm cheap. And a $200 laptop sounded like an amazing deal, especially with this battery life that I have. So I wasn't about to go spend $600, $700, $1,000 on a new laptop to do simple tasks you know <laughs> just web work and maybe some very 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 light gaming and video watching so yeah the laptop's great i recommend it if you are on a budget and you're not trying to spend a ton of money to get a fast laptop the x230 is definitely one to pick up if you're running linux I'm sure Windows works great on here too. I didn't spend any time with Windows 10 on this thing when the guy sold it to me. I just wiped it off straight away. Like as soon as I got it, I wiped the thing. So, you know, your mileage may vary if you use Windows. I'm not against Windows or Windows users. I think everybody should be free to use whatever OS they want, but Linux works great on the thing. Give it a shot. Pick one up if you're in the market for one and enjoy. And like always, no matter what distro you use, out of many, one Linux. Peace.